all right guys you're welcome again to another exciting moment here on the channel this is the nmpc aptitude test record three so we've done the first record the second record this is the third one so you can kindly go and check the first two before this one all right now very quickly i would like to appreciate those of us who have been sharing these videos on other platform helping this video get to other people is one very big way to say thank you to us and we really appreciate that we appreciate that so much so thank you very much for that and um, let me also tell you, we have a closed WhatsApp group for 2024 NMPC aptitude test. So if you're watching this video after 2024, that group is no longer valid. Okay. So it's just for 2024 NMPC aptitude test. Now the group is closed. So if you want to join the group, you just pay a sum of 2000 Naira to this account number right here. And I will add it to the group. You pay a sum of 2000 Naira, then you send me a screenshot of the payment slip to this WhatsApp number here, yeah? and I'll straightly add you to the group chat. What happens in the group chat is very simple. In the group chat, you have access to asking me questions and also learning from other people's questions in the group chat. So it's just a sum of 2,000 Naira only. You can even pay more than that to appreciate us. All right, so thank you very much. Without further ado, let us go right into this video as quick as possible. All right, now, this is question one. Most of the problems you're going to see in the NMPC aptitude test, most of them are word problems. So you need to get used to solving word problems. They are really um, somehow complicating kind of problems, but we'll try as much as we can to make it as easy as possible. And with this knowledge, you can solve many other examples in this form. So now let's start with question one. It says, find a number whose double exceeds its half by exactly 99. I don't know the number they want me to find. So I'll say, let the number be Y. All right. So I said, let the number be Y. And they say the double, if Y is the number I want to find, what would be the double of Y? That would be 2Y, isn't it? Right. And if the, if the number they ask me to find is Y, what would be the half of Y? That would be Y over 2. So now let's read this problem again. So they're asking us, we are going to find the number Y. Whose double, which is 2y, exceeds its half, which is y over 2, by exactly 99. Now, let me explain with a different concept. Look at these two numbers. We have 9 and we have 2. Now, if you look at these two numbers, you see that 9 exceeds 2 by exactly what? 7. So, if we say 9 exceeds 2 by exactly 7, it means that when I take away 2 from 9, I'm going to get exactly 7. That is it, right? So, if we say 2y exceeds y over 2 by exactly 99, it means if I take away y over 2 from 2y, I'm going to get 99, straight up. So, to get rid of this fraction, I don't like to work with fraction. I multiply both sides by 2, so that when I multiply here by 2, I also multiply here by 2, I multiply here also by 2. So, this 2 times 2y will give me 4y. This 2 will cancel out this one, so I just have minus y. And 2 times 99, that is 198. Now, this is 4y minus y. 4y minus y is just like saying 4y minus 1y. That's exactly 3y minus uh, 3y equal to 198. Now, remember, you're looking for y, which is the number they ask you to find. So that is y. So from here, you divide everybody by 3. So if you divide these guys by 3, you now have y is equal to 66. First answer, done. I hope it's clear, right? Now let's go to the next question. Question two, this is a set problem, set in math. Very interesting kind of uh, math problem. All right, let's get started. Now it says P, P is a set. It contains the element A, E, I, O, U. So let me write it down. P has the element A, E, I, O, U. And Q is a set that has the element A, E, I, and U. Now, they ask us to find P union Q. You know what is union? Union means to combine the elements of the two sets together. That is union. Union means the combination. Just join them together. Now, if you're joining them together, you can see that element um, P has the set, has the element A, and Q has element A. So you don't have to write A and A. No, that is wrong. That is the wrong way of writing the elements of a set. So if they have both A, just write one A. It represents the two A's or the three A's or the four A's they both have, right? Now they both have E, write just one E. They both have I, just write one I. Now this P is having O and Q is not having O. 
you're going to include O because remember, we are combining the elements together. So you include O as well. Then the last guy, you put your U. That's the answer. P in your Q is just this answer. Straight up. Now, maybe they ask you intersection. Let me show you how to do intersection. P intersection Q. When you hear intersection, what they have in common? That is intersection. What the two sets have in common? So what they have in common? You can see they both have A. So you put that one. They have A in common. They both have E, nines. They both have I. That is good. Now, do they both have O? No, they don't both have O, so you don't put down O. Now you go to the next guy, they both have U. So that's the answer for P intersection Q. But remember, that's not what they ask us to do. I'm just showing you that's what. Let's go to the next question. Question three. This is another word problem. You can see most of the questions we are solving here are word problem. Just a few of them is just simple arithmetic. So please, always make sure you are used to solving word problem to help you. Now, question three is saying, if I give you seven apples, you will then have five times as many as I would then have. Oh, it's just between me and you, all right? So I have, okay, let me say the number of apples I have is X. The number of apples chooks have is X. And the number of apples you have is Y. Remember, chooks have X apples and you, you have Y apples. So if I, just imagine I have 10 apples and I give you seven, how much is left with me? You do 10 minus seven to get the remainder, right? Very good. Now, I have X apples, right? Now, it says if I give you 7, so that would be like X minus 7 because I'm removing 7 from the number of apples I have. Then if I remove 7 and give it to you, you're going to get Y plus 7 because you're receiving apples. Perfect. Now, let's read on. It says if I give you 7 apples, you will then, you will then have 5 times as many as I would then have. What do I have at that moment? I have X minus 7. So you have 5 times of it. So that means this one you have here, y plus 7, which is what you have, will be like 5 times of what I then have at the moment. 5 times of what I then have at the moment. I hope this is clear. I gave you 7. I'm having x minus 7 at the moment. You're having x, y plus 7 at the moment. So they are saying that this amount you have at the moment is 5 times what I have then. You get it? So that would be like y plus 7. When you distribute 5 to those guys, you have 5x minus 35. You distribute, I mean, using 5 to multiply through. Then clean up these guys, taking y to the other side. It's going to be like 5x uh, minus y equal to, take 35 to the other side. Oh, some people will ask me a question here. Let me just do it religiously. I'm going to have uh, 7 plus 35, right? So you get what I'm doing, right? So from this point, you see 7 plus 35 is 42. So permit me to say this is going to be like um, 5x minus y equal to 42. This thing is leading us to simultaneous equation. You're going to see that in a moment. Now let's go to the case two. Case two says, um, where are we now? Okay, we are done with this part. We are done with this part. Case two now says, it says, if you now give me seven apples, you're the one giving me seven apples now. So I have x plus seven, right? And uh, you will have y minus 7, of course, because you're giving me 7 apples. So if you give me 7 apples, I have that guy, and you have that one. Then the result is, we will then both have the same number of apples. So when you give me 7, at that moment, we both have the same number of apples. That means what I have at the moment will be equal to what you have at the moment. So that would be like x plus 7 equal to y minus 7. Clean up these guys, you have x minus y equal to minus 7 minus 7, and that's going to be like x minus y equal to minus 14. We've got another equation too. And let's find x. Now, if I find x, that is what I have. That's the number of apples I have, remember? And if I find y, that's the number of apples you have. So let's find one of them. So if you look at this uh, equation, y here is having one quantity, y here is having one quantity. So I can easily eliminate y by just a simple subtraction. Like I'm saying minus y minus minus, so that'll be like minus y plus y, that is zero. So let's start, 5x minus x will give us 4x. Then minus y minus minus, that is like minus y plus y, because the minus minus will turn out to plus, and that is zero, minus y plus y is zero, of course, you know. Then 42 minus minus, for that's like 42, uh, plus 14, because the minus minus turns out to be 14. And that's going to give me 56. And 4x equal to 56. Divide everybody by 4 to get x. 4 cancel out 4. x is equal to uh, 4 times 4. Uh, 14. So x is equal to 14. And remember, what is x? 
x is the number of apples chooks have. So I have 14 apples. You don't need to find what you have. Just work with what I have at the moment. So let's check. Option A says I have 24 apples. No, I don't have 24 apples. I have 14. Option B says I have 10 apples. That's wrong. C, 18. That's wrong. Option C says good. I have 14 apples. So you don't have to check for why. You see, this one too is wrong. So that way, the answer is D. So that's one way to solve this problem. They don't want to stress you so much. So one answer could suffice for the other ones. Let's jump to the next question. I don't want this video to take us so much time. Now, this one is very uh, interesting. This is question four. If it takes Shelly 20 minutes to boil an egg in 1.5 liters of water, how long will it take a lot? Who is two years older than Shelly to boil four eggs in 1.5 liters? Even though Ola is older than Shelly, it doesn't matter. It will still take the same amount of time to boil. Even though it's five eggs, six, as far as the eggs will enter the container, it will be 20 minutes. So that one is fine. Question five. How many two cent stamps are there in a dozen? Dozen means 12. So if they say, how many um, pen are there in a dozen? 12 pens, of course. How many, uh, how many, uh, what do I use now? How many dogs? No, no, that doesn't make sense. How many, anything, how many laptops are there in a dozen? That is 12 because dozen is 12. So how many two cent stamps are there in a dozen? That's 12, see. So let's go to the next question. Um, the price of Gary rose by 40%. I think this is the last question for this video. The price of Gary rose by 40% last week and fell by 40% this week. What is the total rise of four in percentage? So, looking at this problem, we don't know the current price. We don't know the price of Gary. They just say it rose by 40% and dropped by 40%. It's your choice to give the price, I mean, give Gary, the, give Gary a price. So, I would like to say, let the price of Gary be 1,000 euro. You ask me, why do I use 1,000 euro? Because it's easy. It's easy to calculate the percentage of 1,000. You can even use 100. You can use uh, 10,000. You can use 10. Those numbers are easy to calculate their percentage. That's just the idea. Eh? So if I tell you now, what is... Uh, now, see, see you're going you're gonna to understand what I'm doing in a moment. Now, the price of Gary rose by 40%. No, what's the current price of Gary? 1,000 Naira. It rose by 40%. That means Gary will no longer be selling at 1,000 Naira again because it has risen by 40%. So what would be the current selling price of Gary? So you do 40% of 1,000, and that is exactly 400. That's why I say it's easy to calculate um, uh, 1,100 and all those stuff. Let me show you how to do it. 40% is like 40 over 100 times 1,000. The zero cancel this to zero. 40 times this is 400, you see? So that is now the increase. So when you add the 400 to 1,000, the current price of value will be how much? 1,400 Naira. Wow, interesting. So this is the current price of Gary at the moment. But now they said it, the next week, thank God, thank God, it fell by 40% the next week. So Gary is now selling at 140 again because that's reduced. So that is the concept now. So we're going to go do 40% of 1,400 and reduce it from 1,400. So 40%, which is 40 over 100, times 1,400 Nera. This two zero, we kill this two zero. 40 times 14, what would that be? 40 times 40, that is 560. So 560. So I'm going to remove uh, 100 from 560. I mean, let me remove, I'm going to subtract one, 560 from 1400. So let me do that real quick. Minus. Um, sorry, sorry. Minus 1400. So I'll be left with um, the current price of Gary now would be what? It's going to be 840. That will be the current price of guys. It's going to be 840. Yeah, I hope you get what I'm doing. So I remove 560 from this to get the current price of Gary. Now, this is the current price of Gary. And this was where we started. What do you observe? There's a decrease, right? From 1,000 to 840, there's a decrease. After the rising percentage and, um, and falling percentage, there's now a decrease in the price of Gary. Now, they're asking us to find that percentage decrease. But the percentage decrease just be like the, the decrease over the initial cost times 100%. So from 1,000 to 840, that is like 160 um, difference, right? So that difference over the initial cost, which is 1,000 error, times 100%. That's how to get the percentage decrease. Or if you want to get the percentage increase, the same thing, the increase over initial times 100%. This two zero cancel out this two zero. This zero cancel out this zero. What do you now have? 16%. That's the answer to this problem. That's option B. 
So we don't have, I don't think, the, yeah, this is the last question. This is the last question for today. I'm sure you get what we did in this class. Keep your notification on because I'm going to be bombarding you guys with many, many, many videos. So please, if you want to appreciate us, do not hesitate to do that. Kindly reach out to me on the WhatsApp. You see there and appreciate us. Yes, kindly appreciate us. We need your appreciation. All right. So thank you very much for watching. This is the WhatsApp number. You can reach out to me on WhatsApp and you appreciate us. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope this video is helpful. I will see you in the next class by God's grace. All the best I wish you and bye for now.